Thomas, hey, congratulations for your, um, for your film. How does it feel that have you having it here at Dances with Films? I am a longtime fan of Dances with Films um, and how they support independent filmmakers. Um, and to be screening here at the Chinese Theater um, is pretty special as well. So tell us how where you got the idea for your movie from. I met Vanessa. Um, I, I I was longing for um, my Salvadorian lady friend was not able to get back into the U.S. at a certain time, so I was kind of sulking. Yeah. And my buddies invited me to a party at the Playboy Mansion, and they told me they would have bikinis girls serving sushi and I'm like okay I'll drag myself to that and it was in celebration of her of Vanessa's book release on Tashin mm -hmm. um, I had never met Vanessa and just when she walked into the room and just took over the room with her personality I was really enthralled and I wanted to know who this person was and as we started to speak um, she enlightened me to the fact that she grew up in the same parts of Brooklyn and Harlem and uh, in Times Square and the Bronx that my family grew up in. Oh, okay. And she, I, I was really um, enamored with that. And I started, I had no idea really who she was, but I, when I researched and I found out who she was and what kind of life she had, it really motivated me to try to tell her story. I think a lot of people tried to tell her story but from a perspective of um, her being misin misin uh, uh, um, victimized or treated in a misin misogynistic way yeah. and she was not about that at all you know she was about being who she was and not caring if you didn't like who she was mm. and I thought that was a really powerful personality trait especially back in the 70s yeah so that is kind of what motivated me to take on writing the story. I got that to her, and she was grateful that someone actually told it from a perspective of a strong, confident woman mm. instead of someone who was used and abused, which she was not. Yeah. And I think that's one of the reasons why her fans were so enamored with her as well, is that she distinguished herself as someone who wore proudly on her sleeve the human being that she was. And that, and that was um, something that came through, I think, what I tried to bring forward in the writing, she appreciated it, and we decided to move forward with making the film about it. Most excellent. And did Vanessa have a chance to watch the film, and what was her reaction now? So she and I talk every other day. She posts everything that we post. She's a, a very hardcore supporter of what we're doing. Um, she's fully on board. She would have been here tonight, but she recently had uh, some um, back issues. Um, so when we do our New York screening, she'll be there. I think uh, she's over the moon happy with everything. There was a point when, um, you know, she had what I would call kind of a dysfunctional relationship with her dad. Um, and she never kind of had closure on that. But when I interviewed her, and I have probably a hundred hours plus of interviews with her, um, that relationship, she really wanted to have some sort of closure, and I scripted out something that I thought would be rather moving, and she called me and she cried when she saw that. So, I think we're on the right path. Well, you're here at Dances with Film, so you definitely are on the right path, so thank you, thank you very much, uh, Tomasa, okay. for speaking with us. I mean, there's a lot of more people who want to speak to you tonight, so... Well, thank Enjoy. You. I appreciate your time. Thank okay, you so thank much. You. All right, cheers. Thank you.